Hey, before I start, I want you to check out my uh, TikTok page. I used to be pretty active on Instagram, but I found it to be a big waste of time. So here's my TikTok page. Uh, I have about 40,000 40, plus followers right now. Um, TikTok's been pretty good. I post a few times a day, three, four times a day. So check me out at Forensic Guy, link below. Anyways, let's get to the case. So we got this DVR for a forensic imaging and then extracting of the videos from the unit itself. So we uh, took pictures of everything on the outside. I covered up the serial numbers and everything. Um, so now let's just inspect where all the screws are. We can see there's some on the back. There's a few at the side and on the other side and at the back too, yeah. And a few on the other side. So let's get this thing disassembled. So the goal here is to uh, take the unit apart and take out the hard drive. Just a few more screws there, nothing at the back. I wasn't expecting to have any at the back, but uh, I guess this bottom screw is unnecessary, but uh, I took it out anyways. We're almost done here. And off goes the cover. Okay, so we see here a Western Digital Purple. Apparently these drives are supposed to be for um, these types of DVRs. I usually see them in DVRs. Um, they're like called surveillance hard drives. I don't know if they're any better, but anyways, let's continue on. So the next step is to take a photo of the hard drive. So we got a picture of the drive. So now we're going to take the drive out. Just two screws here. One, two and uh, cables and the drive is out so now we're going to move on to the deep spar imager we have the forensic add-on i have multiple other tools that can write protect the hard drive but in this case i've decided to use uh deep spar imager that was the only imager that i had free at the moment i had some drives running so here's my target drive it's a 1.5 terabyte seagate it's plugged in over there for doing forensic imaging to an image file, I usually have a larger hard drive than my source drive. <clears throat> Here's the source drive. We're just going to plug it in. And here's the drive plugged in. So now we're going to go onto the uh, DSPAR imager and we're going to start it up. So DDI space dash LS saves the log. So we don't see the source drive yet. We're going to hit F11. The drive will spin up and here's the destination and here's the source drive. So the next step is to enable MD5 hashing. We have to format the target drive. This writes a file system that's going to let us save a bin file onto the drive. So we're going to do clone to an image file. You can see in the corner it says image.bin. It's saving right now. And we're done a few hours later. We got the hash values. Those are very important. You should watch my other video. I'm going to link it above. So now the only thing left is to put the drive back in and pretty much close the unit and seal it up. No one else is going to be using it until this case is resolved. There goes the cover and the screw side. The back. And the last few screws here going in and the unit is put back together and ready to be sealed. And we also got a copy of the hard drive. We don't need the original drive anymore. We have a copy as a bin file with hash values. Okay, so we got this far. Now we have an image. We have the log of the image. The drive is plugged in. The drive we had from uh, Dispar Imager. Uh, we were taking the forensic image. Now we have all that, so what do we do with this? Uh, well, there's a bunch of different tools that you can try and uh, recover this data. I've, I've tried a few other ones, but uh, there's only one that's really good that I found simple to use. It's not too expensive. And I'm actually going to give you um, a code you can use with the company uh, that gives you 20% off. But before we get there, uh, let's start with uh, our studio here. So we are in our studio right now, and then uh, let's see what the image looks like. So open image. Now uh, there's the bin file, open it up. So as you can see, it shows up here uh, in our studio as an ext3, which is Linux partition. So uh, the, the video is actually held right here in this, um, in this partition here. So let's open it. 
So here it is loaded. Um, these are SSF files. Uh, I've tried many different programs and those will not play even on VLC. Uh, most of these uh, DVRs use specific encoding that uh, a lot of times proprietary and even tools like um, VLC will not play them. So there's nothing we can do. We can just we can see them here. They're all four gigs each. Uh, I'm not gonna open them because they won't play. Um, so here's the next best solution that we can use. Um, so I actually want to show you to the log here. Here's the log. Here's the hash. Um, so this is the hash that we saw earlier in DeepStar Imager when it was finished. It created this hash. Now, if you want to know more about uh, forensic imaging, I'll link it above here. You can check out the video on forensic imaging. But first, we'll finish watching this video, and then go and watch the other one. Uh, so let's close this. Now this drive is plugged in through a write blocker um, to prevent any uh, um, writing to back to the drive. Now it is an image file that bin, so you know chances of that happening. Even if it, even if it wasn't write protected, nothing would have happened anyways. But you know what? We have to follow the procedures. Uh, so the write blocker here is a must. So how do we get to view the actual videos from this DVR? So SysDev Laboratories is the same company that makes UFS Explorer and a bunch of other great tools that I've actually covered in my other videos. Um, they have a program called My CCTV Recovery. So the first thing you're going to do is there's a procedure in doing all this. So just follow with me here so at least you understand how to do this. So number one, free download. Hit that quick download here. It's a, This is the demo version. All you can do with this one is scan and save your results. This is just to give you an idea if whether there's data on that um, image from this DVR. So we're almost done here. And just install it. So I already have it installed. So my CCTV demo. So here we go. We're going to launch it. Say, yeah. So there it is here. It just has to scan the drives now and see what's available. So give that a second to load. Okay. So now we have a bunch of disks. Now, we don't want a disk, we actually want a disk image. So we're gonna go here to disk image, open a new one. And uh, we know it's on J drive, so here's the bin file. We can see here one terabyte. Uh, hit open. Uh, and you're gonna start scan. Now, this will probably take, depending on how, how big your drive is and how big the image is and how fast your um, computer is, whether you're inside a three or an SSD, all that has to play here. So. Uh, we're gonna skip that. So now um, let's pretend um, let's pretend we finished scanning. So I'm actually gonna open a session here, a session I did for this case. This is actually a real case that we did um, back in January. So um, let's just point it to the bin file we we're using last. It just takes a second to load, and this loads the session, the scan session we did previously. Um, on this bin image. So here are all, all the uh, videos from uh, from this DVR. So we, have, we, we can see that software detected multiple cams. So there's five cameras on this DVR and each camera is separated into time and date and, and um, it's, you can drill down by individual day and you can open and you can view it. Uh, you can also switch by date and you can just view it by date. Uh, so you have to go back into current storage, click here and then you can drill down uh, per day. So we can see that this camera, this, this DVR system was only recording 2019 July and August. So that's all we see on this one because that's all it was recorded. So say you found your scan results. This is what you want now. So what, what's the next step? So next step is to get activation key from sysdev for the software. Now you cannot activate the demo version. It's a demo for a reason. So since we can activate it, here's what you do next. So you go back uh, to Sysdev's website and you're going to go request license. Uh, you're going to fill out all this information and uh, send this off. And within a day or maybe less than a day, I think it's within a few hours, depending what time it is um, there, uh, you're going to get an email back and they're going to send you a trial version. Uh, once you get the trial version, uh, and remember, you had to save your session in the demo version, because if you didn't save your session, you're going to have to do it all over again. The entire scan you have to do one more time and it's you know it's again gonna wait hours so uh let's quickly jump here to um a trial version and by the way i'm gonna link everything down below uh to sysdev and their 
uh, my CCTV plus the other tools. So I'll link there and the uh, promo code, which is my CCTV 20. I'm going to put it on the screen on the, on the bottom here, uh, plus in the description. So if you use that code, uh, you're going to get 20% uh, off. So anyways, here's the trial version. Now this version is already activated because I already paid for the license for this because I, I needed it for the case. Um, so you're going to go save sessions just like we did with the other one. Um, so the way activation works here, you're going to load your session, find the bin file that we are using earlier. Just give it a second to load so we have the uh, session as it was in the demo version. And here it is. Um, so now, what was missing in the demo version, you can see this is grayed out. So this, this option here is grayed out. Now what's important about this option here is uh, in the trial version, there it is here. So we have to provide this scan ID to my to uh, SysDev because through the scan ID, they're going to be able to give you a, a license. So they have two licenses. One is a full license, which you have to renew yearly. Um, so if you do a lot of DVRs, it makes sense to buy the, the, that license or they can give you a much cheaper option, which is just one time use license, which is for this one particular case. Um, you can use it just like I said on this case, because maybe maybe you only get one DVR a year. Like, who knows? Right. I, for us, it's, it's it's hit and miss. We get them since we don't get them. So um, so here's one. So we ended up paying just for the uh, for the single use license. Um, if we get more DVRs in the future, then obviously we're going to buy uh, the yearly license. But it is pretty expensive, so it's, you kind of have to calculate whether you uh, need a, year li a yearly license to use multiple DVRs or you just need um, the one-time use, which is what we went with. So, once you get your scan ID results, you send that in to SysDev, uh, then you make a payment. Uh, don't forget the promo code. And then uh, SysDev will email you back with the license key. You're going to put it in the software and then you can go ahead and you can save all these files. And then when they're all saved, uh, let me find them here. When they're all saved, here they are. Um, it saved each cam individually in its folders. And now these files here, they're, they're going to be saved as uh, AVIs and they'll play no problem. I'm just open one. I might have to blur it out because it is uh, a, a real case. So um, here it is. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, just don't forget, you have to get the demo version first, do your scan, save your results, contact SysDev, they'll give you a trial version, uh, load your session again, then give them the scan ID, and then um, make your payment uh, with the promo code, obviously, and then uh, you get the uh, serial number, and then you can use it just for this one particular case. Anyways. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks you, thank you for watching. I'm glad you're here once again for my videos. Um, I'm gonna try to stick to that Monday schedule, Monday schedule as I promised. Uh, I have way more videos coming up soon. I have great ideas, so uh, hopefully uh, I'll see you on the next video. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that YouTube BS, as I always say. See ya.